Hey guys, welcome in this new vlog. I hope that all of you are doing great. So today we are the Friday of the 9th of August 2019. It's currently 8.15 in the morning. We have important news on the CAD in 15 minutes and uh, I will show you guys why, but that is actually something very important for me. Uh, I actually got two new trades since the last vlogs. Both of them are going very well. So I will show you guys those trades. Uh, but yeah, so for now, let's actually do the preparation on the screens look at the news uh, because we have that as I said in 15 minutes and I have a trade that is related to the CAD so I have to watch this news very very carefully so let's actually jump right into it oh also guys just before I do this make sure you like the vlog right and subscribe to the YouTube channel so I will see if you guys want to see more vlogs Okay guys, so here are the trades that I have. So uh, same two trades, Urien, I mean Urien here and AUDN here that I have been having for a long time. So nothing changed on that. And my two new trades are on GBP CAD right here and NZD USD. So if we zoom in and look at GBP CAD, uh, I'm in a sell from somewhere around those level right here. Uh, just at uh, the break of the little line, as you guys can see. So overall, uh, this trade is going very, very well. Um, I'm in a deep profit already. And if the news is positive for my side, well, I will be even in a bigger profit. So that is very, very good for this trade. And after that, NZD USD, I'm in this trade from somewhere around those level. So I'm in also a small profit on this one. It's going very, very slow. So if I see that it's not doing what I want to see, well, I will just cut the trade. But for now, I'm still in the trade because I still see the possibility of this developing um, into what I want to see in the future but for now it's not going very very aggressively I'm just waiting to see how it will develop. Right here we have some setups that I'm watching for the day and here below we have the uh, CAD pairs because as I said we have CAD news in 10 minutes so I want to see how it will affect each of these pairs and we also have the dollar index just right here. So I'm fully ready to attack uh, this trading day. The only big important news that we have today is the one on the CAD. But after that, we may still see some good movement on the market. So I will keep you guys updated and hopefully we end the week on a good note because as you guys remember, well, this week is actually one of my worst trading week of 2019. But if today I'm able to make good profits on the trades that I already have or maybe on other setups that I can potentially take, well, uh, that will help a lot and it will probably not uh, even be a red week depending on if I'm able to catch some positions. Uh, so yeah, let's see how it goes when the news drop. Okay guys, CAD news is dropping in less than one minute. It's the unemployment rate which is a pretty important news actually. Uh, so we will see how that moves the market but I think it could make a lot of volatility. Alright, three seconds. Okay, so not very good for uh, the CAD. The reaction is not going on my direction. So worse news than expected, which pushed the CAD uh, value to, to lose a little bit. Uh, but it's still looking good for the downside. This is not, uh, you know, changing direction I think. It's probably just pulling back a little deeper than what I thought. But I'm still looking at it from a from from the downside perspective. I still think that we could see some downside on the cat pair. So I'm just waiting to see how it will develop. For now there's nothing really to do. Okay guys, so here are the CAD news. As you can see, it all pushed them a little higher. Uh, so we have here NZD CAD, GBP CAD, USD CAD, and CAD yen. CAD yen will obviously push lower because the CAD is the first currency and not the second currency, just like the other pairs. Uh, so overall, not a very big reaction. I mean, if we look at, you know, GBP CAD, it's just one candle uh, green obviously that is uh, a little lot big but like it's not that big I was expecting bigger volatility um, so we will see how that goes and how the market react later today after this news but as I said I still think that there is a very good possibility of this turning back to the downside so we will have to wait and see but that is still my forecast for now 
All right, guys, so the news dropped about 10 minutes ago. Uh, it's already pulling back down very strongly. Actually, this is not reversing, I think, as I said, so very, very nice. Now, I'm about to jump on a training session with one of my students, and after that, I have another session at 10 a.m. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan for this morning, and I'll keep you guys updated later. Okay, guys, so it's now 10 a.m. I just did the other session. Now, I'm going into the second one. Alright guys, I just finished the uh, last session of today. It's currently 10.30. Let me update you guys on what I'm doing with my trades. Okay guys, so as you can see, the news didn't really move the market that much as I was expecting. So it made a strong pull back here, but then it went back down. So right now, uh, it is still looking very, very good for the downside. I am just waiting for more confirmation. It will probably be more for the next week because we're Friday. Uh, but yeah, it's still looking very good. So we are finishing the week on a great note. So right now, as I said, it's 10.30, I'm going to the gym, uh, and yeah, I'll catch you guys back later. All right guys, so it's now uh, 1 p.m. Uh, I just came back from the gym, ate my dinner as well. So uh, overall, uh, the day is still looking very, very good. The trades that I have are going very well. So GBP CAD is still running in very nice profit. I'll post the, the screenshot of the trade right here. And NZUSD still a little slow, not going very, very strongly. So I might have to uh, close the trade at break even. But the worst case scenario is that I get a, you know, a break even trade. Um, so overall, everything is actually going very, very well um, I'm finishing the week not too bad right because if you guys remember I started the week with a pretty a relatively big loss so I had a 3% loss on my account 3% is still you know not big right like I mean <laughs> we need to put it in, in context right I can make this back in only one single trade which is probably what will happen with the GBP cat trade when I will be able to close that trade um, so yeah so 3% loss at the beginning of the week and now today on Friday I was able uh, to catch a very good trade on GBP cat and potentially a good trade on NZ USD if I'm able to close that trade in profit or as I said the worst case scenario is that it will be a break even trade so overall not too bad of a week um, it started not that great and I have been able as I said to finish the week on a good note um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy overall you know sometimes uh, we cannot like win every single week right like sometimes you will have days or weeks or even months in some cases where you will either not make a lot or maybe even lose some money um, that's perfectly normal that's the life of a trader uh, but yeah, so overall I'm very very glad with how everything finished um, and how this week went um, for the rest of the day it's only 1 p.m as i said so i will edit this vlog i will post it and after that well i will enjoy the pool right there because it's a beautiful day once again here in uh quebec so i think i will just you know enjoy my day um and yeah that is pretty much it for this vlog i think as well so thank you so much guys for watching once again i hope that you appreciate it you know just the vlog and once again me showing you everything that is going behind the scenes and trying to be as real as possible with you guys just showing you um well my trades and you know what is really like to be a trader uh in just a regular day in my life so uh so on that if you guys like the video please leave a like under it i would truly appreciate it you can also share the video if you want so on that take care trade with care manage your money well and i will see you in my next video bye bye